Good morning, Pro Stitchers. Quilting with Harriet here. Today I'm going to show you real quick how I restart my edge to edge quilting after I shut down for the night. So when I stopped last night, I couldn't get the quilt done. So I did my drag and drop and I hit resume so my needle would take that one stitch to pick up my bobbin where the new star point was. So let me show you on the quilt where I made my mark for the next row after I did my drag and drop. So if you look right over here, let me zoom in, get right down there. Right here, I put a little black dot and that's where my new row is going to start. And it took my drag and drop told me that that's where the next row was going to be. So I shut down my machine for the night and I just turned it on this morning and I brought my pattern back in. So here's the pattern that I was working on yesterday. Now I cropped this pattern at the top and I do not want to stitch this top row right here because it is cropped off. You can see there's a straight line going across there. So how do I get away from that? I want to start with the next row. So I'm going to go to Pro Stitcher, New Start End, and I'm going to come over here to my Start Column, and down here at the very bottom, I'm going to jump that arrow down one. Now you can see that the, the start point moved down here, okay? And just because, I'm gonna baseline this again. I should have done this first. All right, baseline. Now you see how my start point went back up to the top? Go back to new start end and jump it down. Now I'm on the next row. So I'm gonna take my machine over to that little black dot right over to that little black dot on my quilt. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go modify, reposition, start point. And now my needle and my little black dot are in the same place. Easy as that. So when you have to shut down for the night, don't stress about it. Just go ahead and do your drag and drop. Secure your sides like you normally do as if you were gonna do the next row. And then make a little, let it do the one stitch, hit resume, let it do the one stitch so that it goes down and up and it picks up that bobbin thread. Don't move your machine out of the way. Just take a little, black marker and go right down through that needle the the um, where the needle is and just make a mark right there where that thread is coming up and that's your repositioning uh, tool for the next day okay so I hope this helps you this is really not a hard process it's just a matter of repetition so get out those charity quilts um, ask your friends if you can quilt some of their UFOs for them and just practice doing this. If you do it a couple minutes every day, it's gonna become second nature to you and you won't even have to think about what you're doing. So I hope this helps repositioning after a shutdown. And um, let me know, you know what, you're, what you're doing and how it works. Make sure you hit the like button for me, please. That helps bring me closer to the top when, when you search for Pro Stitcher and um, hit the subscribe and notification button so you know when I drop new videos. Have a great day, happy stitching, bye.